guys, so I'm here to do a long awaited and much anticipated review for the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks, which are not new to her line, they've already been in her line, but they're now reformulated and there are also some new colors available. So I'm going to do my review on them since I did a haul, I even did a video with one of the lipsticks in there that I absolutely love. And now I'm going to share my review and swatches for you. So these lipsticks are available at Sephora exclusively and they're online at Sephora as well as in stores but currently they're sold out online most of the colors I think there are a couple of colors that are still available like one or two and then in stores the majority of stores are sold out right now you can still check your local stores to see if they're available because my personal Sephora was still stocked up with all the colors and had them available so you might look out and actually find them in your local Sephora stores so rest assured though that these will be restocked because they are a permanent item so if you don't get them now you'll definitely get them in the future so don't even worry about it don't go on a you know a shopping spree on spree on eBay trying to find them and spending absurd amounts of money for it just wait for them to restock in stores and online so these lipsticks are priced at $19 each and on the box it says there's 0.22 fluid ounces and also on the tube it says 0.22 fluid ounces however Sephora online says that they're 0.18 fluid ounces which I'm going to go by the packaging and that's the amount of product I'm going to go with. So with that being said, I'm going to compare the quantity with a MAC lip glass, which is run of the mill, middle of the road, and that's why I typically use MAC as reference. Most people are familiar with MAC, so using MAC as a reference point will appeal to the majority of people and most people will get the actual references. So MAC lip glasses are 0.17 ounces. The Kat Von D contains more product at 0.22 ounces. So we get more product in here than a typical MAC lip gloss and also a typical lip gloss on the market. So price wise, these are a bit more expensive than a typical MAC lip gloss, which is now $16.50 per tube and these are $19. So a little bit more expensive than MAC, but they compare about around the same price as an Urban Decay lip gloss or say a Too Faced lip gloss. They're a little bit cheaper, but they're around the same price, give or take a couple of dollars. So these, I think, are at a great price point competitively with the brands that they compare to in the market. So let's just jump right into the swatches because I know that's what everybody's awaiting. And I'm going to do swatches both on my arm and on my lips. So you can definitely check out these products in action. So let's get into it. Also, for each shade, I'm going to mention some things about the application and the wear time and also like the color payoff and all that good stuff. Just because it's simpler to do it for each shade than rounding it up at the end. So first up I want to show you swatches of these lipsticks on my arm so you can make color comparisons, shade comparisons with all the colors swatched next to each other as well as see the colors up close and make your own personal decisions on which colors you would like to try out. And the first thing I want to show you is the actual finish of these lipsticks. It's very different from a typical lipstick, even a typical matte lipstick because these dry really matte. like really matte. They're kind of what I would describe as a chalkboard finish. So think of a typical chalkboard, think of like a matte nail polish. That is the effect you get. They dry down and cling to the lips in this matte kind of really flat chalky finish. They're not chalky and flaky but I want to make you think more of a chalky finish when you think about these colors. So first up we have Lolita, which is that pinky nude shade that I mentioned before. As you can see against my skin tone, it's a fairly neutral nude. It actually looks great. Next we have a Gogo, which is that bright neon orange. You can see that it's definitely neon. It's in your face and bold and bright. Next to that we have Backstage Bambi, which is that bright neon fuchsia pink shade, which is gorgeous and I think a lot of people will love that. And beside that we have Jeffrey, which is the closest to the pink shade and you can see it's definitely coral. It's not as described as this neon pink. It's really truly a coral shade next to the backstage Bambi. Then next up we have Maw 5, which you can see is that bright raspberry berry shade that's just divine. It's actually gorgeous. And then next to that we have my much loved shade LUV and as you can see LUV is definitely violet while Mall 5 is more of a berry tone. 
Then next to that we have Outlaw, which is that bright red shade. And you can see that it's a nice vivid red shade against my skin tone. So it's not really a brick red as it's described. It's more of a rich bright blood red. Then we have Vampire, which is that deep vampy burgundy wine shade that's just rich and deep with a strong brown undertone. And this shade is definitely perfect for that vampy lick. So let's take a look at the packaging. You'll see that these are long skinny tubes and the Kat Von D logo is at the base of the tube in black and silver and the cap is black and silver as well with her signature typical tattoo designs all over the cap as well as at the top of the tube. The tubes themselves are see-through so you can see the actual product color which is great for when you have a large collection and you just want to grab the color that you want and go. These are great because you can just grab the color based on the tube. The actual wand is a doe foot wand, typical doe foot wand for lip glosses and different lip products. And this is actually great to apply this product. I found it works really well for me. Maybe for you to get precision you'll use a lip brush, but for me the actual wand worked great. They actually close pretty securely and you will want to secure these because they are liquid lipsticks so they will flow out and get messy so make sure you secure the cap tightly in place. So that's it, let's move on. Next up Lolita which is described as a dusty rose. So Lolita was the only nude shade that I picked up and I picked this up because it suited my skin tone a little better than the other nude shade available. This is a rosy nude color and I really love this. It applied opaque in two coats. In fact, if you just applied one thick layer, you were fine. But I applied two thin layers just to make sure it didn't crack and, you know, kind of separate on my lips. This is Jeffrey, described as a hot pink. Now Jeffrey is a bright neon coral shade that's absolutely gorgeous and this is going to make a great summer color but I did have a lot of trouble with the application. I had to layer it and layer it to get full color payoff without any patchy areas. So this one is gonna take some work. It's a labor of love if you really love the color. It took about three layers with a little bit of touch up here and there to get the color to where I wanted it, where it looked fully opaque on the lips. So you're gonna need to work with this as well as kind of work with a lip liner to make it look more wearable on a darker skin tone. But it's a very beautiful color. Then we have Backstage Bambi, which is described as a vivid hot pink. Backstage Bambi is this bright neon magenta pink shade. It's more blue based, so it'll make your teeth look great under it. It's comparable to Max Candy Yum Yum, and I'll do the swatches so you can see the comparison. But it's a gorgeous shade with a lot of love needed because it takes about three layers to get it right. You have to fill in the gaps, make sure you get the color perfected before you wear it out. And it's gonna take some lip liner to make it a little bit more wearable. But if you do love this color, it's a great color and because of the finish, it comes off even more intense as a neon pink shade. So labor of love, but also a very great shade. This is Maw 5 described as a deep raspberry. Maw 5 is a medium raspberry shade, I would say. It's a great berry color with a purple undertone. It applies opaque in one go. It's gorgeous. If you want to add another layer just to add to the intensity, you definitely can. But one layer is all you need to get full color payoff with this. It wears like a dream. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love this shade. And if you're more tame of heart but you wanted to do a nice bold color, this is definitely the way to go. This is L-U-V, described as a rich violet. The love of my life L-U-V shade is absolutely gorgeous. It's a rich violet shade. It's a nice bright purple shade with definite purple undertones. It's not a berry, it's not a raspberry, it's a true violet shade. It's absolutely gorgeous on the lips, applies opaque in one go. You can apply a second layer for more color payoff. It's absolutely gorgeous, wears really nice, and it's just this is my perfect shade and I think this is going to be one of the most popular shades because purple is just one of those colors that always just flies off the shelves. So this might be a little bit hard to get but it's definitely worth it. This is a go, go which is described as a bright orange red. A go, go is one of those shades that I didn't pick up at first. I actually picked this up like my third go around because it's such a bright bold orange color that if you're you are not 
into orange or you're afraid of these bold colors then this is definitely not for you but if you're into bold neon orange shades then this is definitely gorgeous and it's definitely gorgeous on darker skin as well it will take a little bit of labor to get a nice liner to make it work really well and look more wearable but I'm telling you this is such a bright bold shade that it's worth it it takes about a two two and a half layers to get full opaque color but I didn't have too much trouble as with the other neon shades this one actually applied well so but it will take a little um, a little work just to make sure you get the layers completely opaque so this is a little work but not as much as the other shades this is outlaw which is described as brick red outlaw is a beautiful red shade this is absolutely one of the must-haves this is a bright bold red lip it's a neutral red it leans blue based but i think this will suit the majority of skin tones because of the shade of red and it applies beautifully in one swipe this will give you full opaque color and the matte finish is completely gorgeous on a red lip so definitely this one is one of the ones that i would definitely check out and it wears really well and this is vampira described as a deep reddish burgundy and last up is the shade that I'm wearing right now and it's a bold vampy lip definitely hands down it's called Vampira obviously and it's bright it's bold it's a brownish deep wine red shade that has a bit of a golden I don't know it's like an iodine feel to it like I mentioned before it's kind of tricky to look at because it's a definitely brown based color but it's great it's a nice vampy lip this would have been perfect for the fall months and I think this in the fall will be gorgeous it's a little bit too soon to be talking about fall because we're barely headed to spring we're still in winter Oof! but this is such a great vampy shade and it's opaque in one go you can apply a second layer for full opacity but it works so well and it's definitely a gorgeous color as well if you're into those deep vampy shades so now let's go ahead and do the comparison swatches for LUV which a lot of people are curious about to see what it is comparable to and I'm going to use the shades that I have currently in my collection. So first we have LUV here which I'll show you is that bright rich violet shade. So as you can tell this shade is definitely LUV which is that matte kind of flat chalkboard finish bright rich purple color right here and then next to that I have to the left I have swatched heroin which a lot of people think this shade is comparable to I think they're similar shades but the comparison ends in the shade similarity because heroin is a touch more blue based as you can tell from the swatch and the finishes are both matte but LUV is strictly matte it's chalkboard like you can write your name on this in chalk it's flat matte while heroin while it's matte it has a little bit of a sheen to it next to that I have Violetta which is also from MAC and this is an amplified cream and this one is closer I would say in color to LUV because it has more of that pinky undertone but because it's an amplified the finish does not compare at all there's definitely a sheen and a shine to it and it's not full opaque coverage as LUV is then for another comparison I swatched up the amp from MAC also an amplified finish and you'll see that this one is a lighter pinker shade it's not as richly pigmented as LUV and then I have another similar shade in my collection this is great matte cream lip crayon from Bite Beauty and this is one of my recent purchases and you can see that even though it's grape it's definitely a pink shade next to this LUV color um, by um, heroin I would say is the more most purple based of the lipsticks but I also have a couple of lip tars that I want to share with you the lip tars are to the right of the LUV swatch and the first one I swatched was um, hoochie which a lot of people compared this to they wanted to know how hoochie compares to this again the finishes are different like this these liquid lipsticks are nothing like I have in my collection and you'll see that hoochie is definitely more pinky than her, um, LUV even though LUV is not as bright blue based purple it still is a little bit more violet than hoochie itself and the real rich purple color that I have in my collection is Katricia 
from OCC, also a lip tar. And I don't know if they still have the shade, the shade. I think they still do. I have the older packaging, but this one is definitely a rich blue based, rich purple shade. So if you're looking for a true purple shade, this is the one for you. LUV actually shows up more raspberry next to it, more like a magenta next to it. But again, nothing my collection compares as far as finish goes with LUV. As far as lip liners for the LUV lipstick, I wanted to show you the two options in my collection that I think work great, and that would be Heroin Lip Liner, which actually works out great and pairs well to line your lips with, and then Magenta Lip Liner, which is also very similar to um, Heroin. They're both very similar shades. You don't need both in your collection. Magenta has a little bit more of a pink shift to it, but both are very similar, and both are now permanent at max, so you can pick them up if you wanted to Pick out a lip liner that goes with this LUV shade. I also wanted to do a comparison of the Backstage Bambi shade to a couple of pinks that I have in my collection, bright neon pinks. And one of the first ones that comes to mind is Candy Yum Yum from MAC, which is this bright, bold matte lip that everybody has fallen in love with. And you'll see here I have the Kat Von D Backstage Bambi swatched all the way at the right side of my arm. And then next to it I have Candy Yum Yum, which you'll see is more of a bubblegum pink when swatched next to um, Backstage Bambi, which is more of a bright, vivid, pep not peptobismal pink, but a bright, vivid, almost magenta pink next to this Candy Yum Yum. Candy Yum Yum has more of a blue undertone to it. I also swatched Nylon Lip Tar from OCC, which a lot of people have compared Candy Yum Yum to as well. And these shades are similar to each other, Candy Yum Yum and Nylon Lip Tar, but they are, again, not very similar to Backstage Bambi, which has that strong pink undertone. These colors have more of a bubblegum pink, more of a bluey pink undertone, so I wouldn't compare Backstage Bambi to these colors. I mean, they are similar. If you're, if you're just looking for a nice neon pink lipstick, it's very similar. But if you're a makeup lover and you're really into um, lipsticks, then you're going to see the definite difference. Next color in my collection is from Bite Beauty, and this one is Satsuma, which is another one of their matte cream lip crayons, which I recently picked up as well. And this color, I think, is more similar than Candy Yum Yum and Nylon. They look very similar. Um, to Backstage Bambi, but again, the finish is going to be different. It's going to be a flat matte finish on the Kat Von D versions versus the matte finishes in the other um, lip products on my arm. Now, as a lip liner for Backstage Bambi, I actually have just one bright pink one in my collection. That's Embrace Me Lip Pencil from MAC. It's a bright neon pink and it works perfectly as a lip liner to complement the Backstage Bambi shade. Another couple of colors I wanted to swatch and show you comparisons is Agogo, that Kat Von D Agogo orange shade versus MAC Morange lipstick, which is a bright orange shade from MAC. As you can see, I have them swatched on my arm and the Agogo is a bright, neon, vivid orange shade, almost a true orange with a strong yellow undertone while Mirage has more of a red undertone. So you can see the definite difference here in the undertones and the finishes. They're both matte, but as I said before, um, the Kat Von D versions are just chalkboard flat matte. So the finish of these lipsticks is completely matte. Like I mentioned, it's gonna give you a chalkboard finish. So be prepared for that. This is definitely nothing like I have in my collection. I don't have anything that's comparable. Even my matte lipsticks do not do what this lipstick does. It's completely a different take on lipstick. It's bright, it's bold, it's completely matte. There are other similar products on the market that I haven't personally tried out but they have like the lime there are some lime prime products that do this do similar things but these I think are so gorgeous they're great products to get your hands on that's why they're sold out but they're absolutely phenomenal the wear time is typically four to six hours with each shade before you start noticing a little bit of wear, a little bit of cracking, because it is matte, it's gonna crack on your lips. The, um, the lighter shades like the Backstage Bambi, um, Jeffree, and this nude one, Lolita, are the ones that 
take about four, four and a half hours before they start showing wear. So take these along with you to fill them in if you're going to be out longer. The other shades, oh, the, the orange one also shows a little bit of wear as well, four and a half, five hour mark. The other shades take about six hours to start showing a little bit of wear. They wear beautifully and their touch up is no problem. It doesn't like you don't have to wipe it off to reapply completely you can just touch up and go and um, these wear six hours before they start showing where once you reapply then you get full coverage for the rest of the day like but they're not like gonna last you 12 hours straight with no wear applying no trouble so keep that in mind if you're looking for long wear they are long wearing like they stay in place and the color is there but they're going to wear off as you eat, as you talk, as you, you know, go about your day. So if you're going to eat and talk, take these along. Just do the touch up mostly on the inner parts of your lip. That's where the wear will begin. So, you know, keep that in mind. Take them along with you. But I absolutely love the wear of these. I love how they feel on the lips. They're lightweight. That I didn't, I didn't mention that. They're lightweight. They feel lightweight, but they don't tighten and dry your lips the way matte lipsticks can where it tightens and it feels like your lips are being pulled these actually are lightweight and feel like almost like a paint on your lips they you can move without it feeling tight and restrictive it's very it's a very comfortable matte color to wear which is weird it's like a comfortable matte lipstick to wear so wear is great color payoff is great wear time is great performance is great to apply these, like I said, you probably want to use a lip brush if you're into that, if you can't get the precise line with a doe foot applicator. I personally did not have an issue applying these with the doe foot applicator. It's what I used to apply it in the swatches, and you can see that I got pretty crisp lines. But if you want to go for precision, definitely use a lip brush. I would also recommend a lip liner with some of these shades, especially the lighter ones and the neon ones to get them to be more wearable. I think everybody needs to check these out like I'm not even kidding everybody needs to check these out but hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully this video helped you guys to select whatever you want to select and whatever you want to choose to try out but I definitely recommend them I definitely love them and they're definitely getting a thumbs up I think they're phenomenal they're a great product they're brand new on the market they're gonna blow your mind so check them out let me know what you think I know people are going crazy because they're sold out and they can't get them but if you get your hands on these it's definitely worth it so let me know what you guys think and thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon bye